We are staying on top of that breaking news in Iredell County. This is where sadly we've learned three construction workers died after a terrible crash on I-40 westbound. Yeah, this is a tragedy here. We first mm -hmm. brought you this story when we came on the air at 430. Right now, eyewitness news reporter Anthony Castor is at exit 162. This is where the traffic is being diverted. And I know you were just off camera talking to a trooper. What did he tell you? Yeah, I mean, about four hours into this investigation since the time this crash happened, we are now just starting to get some of those answers. As you mentioned, we know that three of those workers were hit this morning. We are told it was in that construction zone, which we had reported previously, but we now know that those three people were hit by a box truck within that construction zone. Again, this happened about 3.30 this morning, and uh, a number of first responders came to this area uh, in order to assist here. And so at this point, uh, we know that that is confirmed. We know again that they were con uh, contracted with NCDOT at this point the families have not been notified and so we are not releasing that company's name at this point um, but that should come later today uh, but again happened 3 30 this morning and just a lot of lane closures that we've been talking about since we've been on the air I mean you can see just the traffic that's being diverted behind me here on uh, I-40 uh, this is westbound so the crash is just happening a few miles this way and that trooper told me in the next few minutes here we will be able to actually get a little bit closer to get a better idea of how how this crash happened and and really the next steps in this investigation as well again we know that three people died who were working overnight they were hit by a box truck we asked if anyone was facing charges they say it's too early in the investigation to process that at this point uh, it sounds like the person who was in that box truck is cooperating with investigators but a lot of agencies are here on hand trying to help out as best as they can we have ncdot we have the state troopers office we have the local sheriff's office and several fire departments and again as the traffic congestion continues this morning we know that this will be a problem for quite some time, at least until 10, if not longer. And for that, we go to Traffic Team 9's Mark Taylor with more on how you can avoid this area. Mark. All right, so here's the deal. We've got a detour in place, but that detour is just really starting to fill up. So we're going to get you around it. So in per perspective of where this wreck happened, mile marker 157, that's between exits 162. That's where Anthony is standing at Highway 64. But look at the line of traffic trying to get back in from Old Moxville. So another option for you is to get off the of Highway 64, head north north to Cool Spring over to River Mill. Now River uh, Hill rather will uh, re enter Highway 64. But look, you're going to bypass all that overflow. So that's a better alternate route than the detour that we're seeing right now. So keep that in mind. Either way, it's going to take some extra time. You're going to want to leave early. I do want to update you real quick on 77 northbound. There's a crash between Arrowwood Nations Ford blocking the right lane, adding to the delays coming out of South Charlotte. So you know the drill South Boulevard or South Triad for that detour.